Right, Pinks, we're starting off in the Ionic 6. Come on, Jamie, let's put your foot down. Let's see what this can do. Here we go. <gasps> it's so quiet in here. 100. It's not a sports car, but it's a lot more powerful than I expected. It's lively. That's wow! Oh, it's wow! Sucks. And the braking! <laughs> the car feels incredible. OK, this is good, but I think we should set personalisation mode, or the so-called My Drive mode. This mode allows me to tune exactly the response I like. Now, we can also choose rear drive and all-wheel drive. You get less power with rear drive because you don't benefit from the front electric motor. On winding roads, rear-wheel drive, which sports cars and race cars typically have, can be a lot more fun. And with this car, you can set virtual driving sounds too to increase driving fun. Listen to this. That's amazing. That is incredible. <laughs> I love that. Let's see if we can get the internal light system working, which, by the way, changes colour depending on how fast you're going. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Right, let's do this. Come on. OK, that was so much fun. We're in the Ionic 5 now, and we're going to start in the default mode, normal. It's the mode most people will use. It feels very responsive in throttles, steering settings. It feels great. You can really feel the power and strong instant torque. Only an EV can offer that. Plus, the batteries are in the floor, making the centre of gravity low, improving handling and sharpness. There's very little body roll. It feels really good. <laughs> 